Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What's going on, y'all? Yes, indeed. So, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I want to talk about situation with T.I. son. And my thing is, is that, and this is going to be a letter, a virtual letter, to T.I. and his son, King. And like I said, for any of y'all out there, if you see anybody else doing virtual letters, you know where it started off at. I'm the one who started doing this for a long time already. So this is a virtual letter to T.I. and his son, King. So um, here's my take on this one um, and my thought. First off, I want to congratulate T.I. I want to congratulate him for being a stand-up man and being a father to his son. Okay, because if you don't chastise your kids, who else will? The streets. What's going to happen is your kid is going to end up either dead or in jail. Okay, that's what's going to happen. It ain't the hospital no more. They're not going to end up in the hospital. They're going to end up dead or in jail. Just those two. Because now a lot of people are playing for keeps. Especially the OGs. Because they know a lot of these young dudes out here is very treacherous. So let's just get that one straight. So I want to just say this. And this is going out to King. First of all. Your father has built this empire for you. Okay. That's why you're able to do these rants and go to restaurants and belittle people and do all that stuff that you do. Because your mother and father built an empire for you and your siblings. Okay. So, here's my thing. What they say. Honor your mother and father and you shall live long. See, luckily, it was your father that put you in your place that night. Because if it wasn't for your father and it was some street dude, they probably would have been going to your funeral the next day. Okay? Chill out. Cool down, young brother. How many? How? how, how you know what? I want to ask you something. <laughs> and this is a simple question. How long? Did it take you to be born? Hmm. About nine months. So what's the rush now? That's all I'm saying. What's the rush now? Because what's happening is you rushing to the grave, my brother. That's what's happening to you. We live and we learn. But to fight another day. Guess what? It's not like that nowadays. It's not like that nowadays. Because we do live, but we don't live to fight another day. So I want to say this, and this goes out to King. Honor your mother and your father. And no disrespect to you, little brother. Stay off the drugs. You are too young to be on drugs and drinking. You're too young for that. Honor your mother and your father. Brother, you haven't even lived yet. You ain't live yet at all. You still underneath your mother and father wing, my little brother. Respect your parents. Respect them at all costs. See, because I remember there was an incident where um, you and another, and, and another little brother, I ain't going to mention his name, had disrespect. Some elder cats. And then your father was defending you. But see now. I see that T.I. That good brother T.I. Is taking another approach. Because he's seen. Hey my son is troublesome. Brother King. You almost got your father into a situation. Where he probably had to fight for his life. Or he probably, he probably tried to fight for his freedom. 
I know a young dude who once got his father into some mess. And his father had to fight for him. And come to find out, he stirred up all of that mess and got his father real in a real bad situation behind that. And these people are like family to me. You know, so I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to go through that whole scenario, you know, but what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say to you, Brother King, is if you want to live long, obey your parents and you will live a long time. Let me tell you something. For all of the luxuries and worldly possessions that you own, you cannot take that with you. Stop taking your parents for granted. I lost my father, but I still have my mother. And even though I don't go to see her as quite as often as I should because I live in another state, I'm originally from New York, you know, I do talk to her. And I got to get my butt over there to see her. And that's for sure. But I'm going to just say this. Chill out, my brother, before one day you find yourself in a web that's so sticky, ain't nobody gonna be able to get you out of it. Like that, like that situation that you had at that restaurant. When you left threatening those boys, you lucky you left with your life, brother. Because one thing I know, being from New York City, you don't threaten someone and think you're gonna keep on walking. Okay? Because they're gonna get you before you walk to the trunk of your car. They're gonna get you before that. So you lucky you got out of that with just a couple of bumps and bruises. But I want to say this. And like I said, this is a letter to Brother T.I. and his son K. T.I., brother, I commend you for finally seeing that your son have a problem, brother. He does have a problem. And it's better that you can save his life now to be going to his funeral. And this is no disrespect, my brother. This is definitely not no disrespect. See, I come from that old school. Whereas when my parents told me to shut up, I shut up. My grandparents told me to shut up, I shut up. Aunts and uncles, whoever told me to shut up, I shut up. We all shut up. We got beat with switches, baseball bats, uh, curtain rods, wooden clock shoes, and everything. But see, I'm going to tell you why these kids is out of pocket like this. It's because, like I said in another video that I did, the prison is a business. Okay? They don't want you to chastise your kids. They want you to leave your kids like that. So then after that, your kids can be a visitor in their prison. So they can get $33,000 a head. The prison is an investment right now. Just like the church. And I don't mean to say that. But we all know that. We all, Everybody's claiming to be LLC, non-profit and all that. So we already know that. You know. And I'm glad that you're taking a stance, my brother. To let your son know he does not have to be part of that. At all, on no level, do he ever have to be part of that. This right here is a result of when we're younger and we're out there trying and then we finally do something and then we build our families up or our life up and then we bring kids into the world. Oh man, I ain't gonna never let my son be like the way I was. I'm gonna be a better father. My son ain't gonna be like that. I'm gonna see to it that my son and or my daughter be good. And sometimes we go a little bit overboard when we do that. Because then the kids turn out to be worse than we ever was. Because they didn't never had to work hard for nothing. It was given to them. And that's the problem with the kids today. It's so many things that's given to them. And that old saying, it take a village to raise a child. That don't exist no more because the minute that you try to tell that kid something, guess what? They're going to blow your head off or at least try to 
because you trying to wake them up to see reality. But I'm going to just say this to y'all guys. Let's commend Brother T.I. for catching the destruction and seeing it for what it was before it explode to something bigger than that. And Brother King, I wish you many more days on the earth. And look, man, I don't care if you see this, this right here and start talking reckless to me. I'm way older than that, okay? And when I say way older than that, meaning my mind grew up. So none of that reckless talk applies to me. But you need to get your act together, little brother, before it's too late. Because the grave is calling you, my little brother, by your actions, especially against your, uh, you did the thing against your parents. What you think going to come out of that with the world seeing that? And you was taping it like it was cool. You trying to play your parents online. One thing that my mother and father always told me, and I live like this today. Anything that goes down in your house stays in your house. And always move in silence. Everybody don't have to know you left the house. Everybody don't have to know where you are. That's just half the battle right there. That's half the battle. And if you live like that and obey your parents, you'll live a long time, my little brother. You'll live a long time. All I'm going to say is don't let these materialistic things fool you, my brother. Because there's bigger than that to come. But if you keep traveling the way you are, disrespecting people, you might not make it. And no disrespect. Get your act, to bro get your act together, little brother. Get your act together. Honor your mother and your father. I don't care what nobody ever said about T.I. and his wife. They're great parents. Because he definitely put the brakes on you, King, when you got out of line and you tried to show up your own dad. What kind of son is you, man? You're going to try to show up your own dad on, on live Instagram. Who does that, my little brother? Who do that? You need to get yourself together, bro. Real talk. Peace.